so sorry. I didn't think you'd actually fall down. Are you okay? Here, take my hand. Yeah, sorry. It was just, um, for force habit, I guess. Hey, are you new here? Yeah, I thought so. I definitely would have remembered you. Well, I only asked because it's kind of a rough neighborhood around here. You shouldn't be walking out here alone this late. You never know who or what could be roaming the streets at this hour. Do you know where this is? Are you lost? Oh, you got off at the wrong stop? Yeah, that's, um, accurate, to say the least. Well, were you just gonna walk the rest of the way home? Can't you call somebody to pick you up? No battery. Oh wow, um, today really isn't your day, huh? Now I get why you were all jumpy before. Well, hey, I'd offer you mine, but I actually never really carry a cell phone on me. But, um, I do have a landline back at my place, if you'd like to use it. Oh, um, sorry, that probably sounded really suspicious. I have the best of intentions, I swear. Believe me, the safest place you can be right now is inside somewhere. And the second we arrive, you can phone a friend to snatch you right on out of here. Please, let me help you. I've seen some bad stuff happen to people around here, especially after sunset. So I'm not just going to sit back and let that happen to you too, okay? I promise. I won't bite. Okay, listen. Forget about the whole coming over to my house thing. How about I just walk with you until wherever you need to be? I totally get not trusting a complete stranger. It's the smart thing to do. But I just can't, in good conscience, leave you by yourself in the dark like this knowing what I know. Look, if you're still heading in this direction, my house is along the same way, so I can walk you from here till there, and maybe by then, you can decide if you feel safe enough to come inside and call your number one chauffeur. Either way, at the very least, you won't be alone anymore. Does that sound alright to you? Okay, good. Good. Thanks for trusting me. Here, you should probably take my jacket too. You kind of look like you're freezing. No, please. I insist. That's a cute outfit, but... I don't think it was designed with, um, temperature in mind. Not that cold, you say? Well, you could have fooled me. Come on, I wasn't born yesterday. Just lay out your arms behind you and I'll do the rest. My god, poor baby, you're shivering. Not that cold, right? It's okay. You don't have to play strong in front of me. Oh yeah, sorry. 
I guess it's not really a jacket. More of a cloak, maybe? This might surprise you, but I'm not exactly a fashionista. So you'll have to bear with me if I use any terms inaccurately. Alright, and last button. Okay, um, turn around for me. Give me a spin. Um, <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, I'm starting to think my tailor didn't design this for you to wear it. But, um, you still look pretty adorable. And more importantly than that, you should be feeling at least a tad bit toastier. Am I right or wrong? Okay, good. Stay warm for me, alright? Okay. Come on. Let's go. So, getting off at the wrong stop. How did that happen? Well, fair enough, I guess. All the neighborhoods do look pretty similar in the nighttime. But don't you have like a, a map or something? Just to make sure you're at the right spot? You usually just do that on your phone? Do they have complete maps on phones now? Oh, sorry, I must have missed that one. To be honest with you, I'm not really good with technology. It, um, updates faster than I can keep up with, as you can tell. Oh, wow. Yeah, that does look quite interesting. Where are all the numbers and stuff like that? Wait a minute. Is this an Etch-a-Sketch? Alright, here, you can take it back. I wouldn't want to break it. Oh yeah, the last cell phone I ever saw was like this flip thing. And it felt like a brick in your pocket, so people always thought you were having a good time. But on the bright side, if you happen to own two of them, like, um... Kevin Gates. You could use them as dumbbells, which was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I guess that's part of the reason why I don't own one. Truth be told, I just don't really talk to that many people, aside from my family. But we don't really need extra stuff to communicate. They just kind of show up whenever they need me. And I respond accordingly by trying to avoid them as much as possible. Um, yeah, I don't really get out that much, if you couldn't tell already. Quite certain I could count on one hand the amount of people I've spoken to all year. But, um, if it means anything, you're definitely my favorite. Of the five or so, sorry, it sounded better in my head. I guess that's also why I got so excited to see you back there. I'm sorry about that, again, for scaring you. I just haven't seen a hum... someone face to face in a while. Are you okay, by the way? I didn't want to say anything, but you've kind of been limping ever since you fell over. Oh yeah? It's your ankle, right? Well, 
hey, once we get to my place, I do have some first aid supplies stored up in there. So we'll be able to see together if you need some patching up or not. Oh, um, speak of the devil. This is me. So yeah, um, no pressure if you don't want to come in. I can even bring some stuff out here into the cold if you want me to. But personally, it would be much more reassuring to see you inside with your leg good to go and someone you trust coming to pick you up rather than watching as you limp your way home by yourself in the darkness. But that's just me. So what do you say? Do you want to join me? I also have food if you... Yeah? <laughs> Alright. My fault. I should have led with that. Here. You can lean on me for now. Yeah, go right ahead. Don't worry about it. I got you. Alright, darling. You just stay here by the door, and I'll go get the first aid kit. Okay, hope you didn't miss me too much. Oh, you've just been looking around? Not too much, I hope. Well, anything I should keep in mind? Do you like the interior of the place? Thank you. Yeah, I uh, can't say the design was completely up to me, but um, I like it too. Maybe a little old-fashioned, but... I don't know. Makes the whole house feel uh, a bit cozier. Reminds me of my roots, definitely. Alright, um, anyway. Let us check the extent of your battle scars, shall we? No, I'm just kidding. I'm sure it's not that bad. At worst, it's gonna be nothing more than a small scrape. I'm just gonna roll up your leggings a bit, okay? Sorry, I know it hurts. Only for a little bit. Right at your ankle, you said, right? Okay. There we are. And let's see. <gasps> oh. No, 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 no. It, it's not that bad. It's just, you're, you're bleeding a little bit. Um, sorry, I should have thought of this earlier. No, it's not that I'm squeamish. It's just seeing blood does stuff to me. Okay. Don't worry, I'll just wrap it up in some sutures, and you should be good to go. All done. I'm gonna pull it back down now. <sighs> no, I'm fine. 
Everything's okay. What? Oh, the phone? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's right over there. In the other room. Go ahead. Be my guest. <clears throat> Damn. It's been too long since I... <clears throat> I should have known that. She could have been bleeding. <clears throat> okay, come on. Calm down. Don't... Don't let him... God, they smell really good. Okay. I need to get them out of here. Before... Before I do something. Alright, are you just about done over here? No. Okay, that is enough. Talking. You need to leave. Now. I'm sorry. I know they're not going to be here yet, but you just can't stay, okay? No, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Please, you have to get out of here. No, get off of me. I'm sorry. I can't control it. He's coming. He's coming soon. Look, here's my keys. Open the door. Open the door. Close behind you and lock it. Okay? Lock it. Okay? Promise me. No. Do it now. No! <laughs> oh, hello, my dear. Oh, I'm sorry. It's too late. I can't let you leave. You should have listened to the other guy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm afraid you are far too pretty for me to let you leave. At least, not without a loud taste. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Do you think I care about how your little friend is already on their way? Sweetie, by the time they come, I'll already be done with you. Now hold still. No, don't fight it. I said, don't fight it. No, stop moving. Do not be difficult with me. All you're doing is delaying the inevitable. The more you struggle, the more painful I'm going to make this for you. Besides, I am much stronger and hungrier than you. So there's nothing you can do to stop it. Oh, scream what you want. I like that. Nobody is coming to save you. It's just me. Oh yeah, show me that neck, baby. You know, I've been wanting to pounce on you ever since the second I laid eyes on you. My pet. And you know what? I think that I'm done 
waiting. Say so good, bad. I knew you would. Oh, I just knew. from you. Do it. They always taste so much better while they're sleeping. Oh, don't worry, Pat, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be right here when you wake up. In fact, don't think for a second that this little nap of yours is going to stop me from <gasps> oh no oh no 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 hey are you okay oh god that's a lot oh hey hey wake up come on oh god oh god oh god no, what did i do oh, oh. Oh no, oh no 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 